Welcome to the creative identifications video. And in the creative identification, we all are very creative. So this week, we decided to ask our participants to select an object or an image in their background camera to represent themselves. Now, are you excited to see who brought what? Well, now you're about to see what the three brought because she's up next in three, two, one. Hi, this is Aditi. So today, we were supposed to choose an object in your background that represents you. And I chose this candle. Well, I chose it because a candle helps people in the darkness by giving, by giving light. And the same way, I also try to help people too. And also, a candle gives warmth to everyone. And the same way, I have a warm smile and a warm heart. So thank you and bye! Did you like Adithri's candle? Or did you think the candle best represented Adithri? Well, that's not my business. But let's see who brought the couch cover to represent themselves. Hello everyone, it's me, Parth from Non Academic. In today's video, I'm going to relate myself with this couch cover. So the first thing, first thing that I can see that it it can cover anything, and I can also cover the secrets of any person. Second thing that I can see is it had drawing of flower, and I can also do drawing. Third thing that it is soft, and I am also soft. For how did you like parts? Well, now we'll see how the curtain relates to Boomy. Hello, today I'm going to be sharing how this curtain represents me. Well, number one is that, as you can see, the curtain has a little bit of blue or turquoise on it. And this turquoise is very pure and it's not dirty. And I think I am very pure inside my heart. Number two is that the curtain's job is to block the sun rays because the sun rays are very hot. So when a person comes down to sit here, the curtains are blocking the sun rays because they're very hot and making shade for the person. So if someone's down and feeling sad, I'd block the sun rays, which is negativeness, and I'll, um, like, just like the curtains, I'll give shade, positiveness. And number three is another job of curtains is they, therefore, also privacy. Like, if one of the strangers are looking outside from your window and you don't like it, you could block um, the windows with the curtains. And if I don't like being with strangers, then I can just block myself and not be with strangers who people I don't know. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and bye. Did you like Boomy's curtain? Well, now you can't leave me out of this. Let's see what I brought to relate to me. I know you might think, wait, where's your item? What do you mean? Well, it's right here around my neck. And you know why I choose this? It's because you see some of the hairs like this are sticking out. Well, sometimes my hair can like stick out a lot. And this is like very like flimsy and it looks like it has no bones, which it doesn't. And it looks very lazy. And sometimes I can really be this lazy. And also, when I wear it around my neck, it looks so beautiful. And I know, I know, I look beautiful, don't I? This is why I think I'm this item. Do you like my flower garland? I hope you did. And if yes, thank you. Now let's see who, which our new participant object was. Hi everyone, my name is Dipti from Non Academic, and today I'm going to be sharing what from my video represents me the most. I picked these paintings because a Greek uh, in another assignment, a Greek goddess that I picked was Calliope, and she is like a goddess of art and music. And I also picked this because this is one of my first art pieces. And I think this represents me because this is bold and colorful and I am bold and colorful because I have a lot of feelings and I like to shine out bright with lovely colors. 
Another reason I picked this is because those colors, they can't go all over the wall. Because my colors, like when my feelings, they I don't let them go. If I feel something, it stays with me. So if I'm happy, I'm always going to be happy. If I'm sad, sometimes I'm just going to be sad. And thank you for listening. Bye. I hope you like Nithya's. If not, watch out for Nithya. Hi everyone, Nithya here from Nanakadame. And today in the class, we had to take anything that represent, that's in our background. So I took this. Well, I love the way it's all green and it shows nature because I really love nature. And I think this girl really represents me because she has long hair like me and she looks very beautiful. And guess what? When I do this, the sounds come in. And the way this is so beautiful, I really think my voice is very beautiful. So I hope you like my video. But for now, bye! And how did you like Deepya's? And we can't forget my sister. And if you're forgetting it, let's see what Amishi brought. So I am a jewelry box because number one, a jewelry box is somewhat of a keeper of secrets. You always forget, wait, how many rings do I have? How many earrings do I have? How is it organized? You always forget until you open it up and then you discover your secrets and all. Additionally, Jewelry boxes have multiple different kinds of colors. They have different shapes. They have different types of necklaces. Just like me, I have different types of personalities based on where I go. So this is why I think a jewelry box best describes me. Did you like Amishi's jewelry box? I hope you did because I have a secret. I liked it a lot. And with that, I take your leave. And I hope you liked this creative identification video. And if you did, Leave a comment down below or let us know. And if you have any suggestions for what we should do next week's creative identification, don't hesitate in letting us know. And, and thank you for watching. And please don't forget to leave a like and share this with your friends and family. Bye and thank you for watching.